Facebook, you gotta take that off. Fuck you, Facebook, a little bit. Okay, how crazy is this? Oh, what a fucking world. How how can I be into health and know all this shit and not realize? I'm not even. This is like a clickbait title, but it's fucking true, guys. What the fuck? How have I not realized what I've been doing? Um, th this actually came about because yesterday I was joking around. Hi, Carl, mate. I was joking around and um, on my post because I was came back from camping and I've just been doing so many things. I was and only 10 days, 11 days into seam retention, which I've been doing. Um, and I was joking, saying I need to fat because I've got too much energy. I did have too much energy yesterday, way too much. Um, just the momentum, the excitement, the health, the energy, the happiness, all I'm learning. I get really excited and energetic, I talk too fast when I'm connecting the dots with everything I'm doing. But anyway, um, when I put that post, um, it's amazing how some, some random comment, hear this, it's amazing how some random comment some of your friends make on your Facebook can actually, you cut, you don't hear what they're saying, but it's something random they say just wakes you up. It's exactly what happened. So shout out, I'll tag underneath this. I'm sure Ian Sargent is not watching this, but Ian Sargent put on my post um, when I was talking about fapping as a joke. He said, ejaculation. Yeah, ejaculation. And I was like, oh yeah, cool, yeah. Because everyone talks about ejaculation in the community, and I've known this for the longest time. But I thought it wasn't me, and I thought I was never doing it, and I thought, oh, this is complicated, this injection business, um, you have to learn how to, you have to complicate it, you have to use your mind, and get it inside, and splurge the semen instead of out, but inwards into the whole body, into the brain, I didn't realise I'm fucking doing it, and I'll tell you how i done it, here's how I did it, and I, I'm, whatever I do, I guess can be re replicated, thank God, that's why we teach physical health mastery, um, what I can do can be replicated by anybody, just as I'm inspired by other people, but anyway, when it happens to me, it's been happening now for the past couple of months. St ever since I stepped up my yoga game, yoga, 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 I've been getting it, and I didn't realise what it was. It felt amazing, though, and it, I always kind of looked forward to it. Ejaculation that I was doing that now clicked as fucking ejaculation. And, um, yeah, I, I do it. It always comes around the same time. Now, I follow a, a yoga routine, a set routine. Uh, I've, I've been to one class in my entire life um, this year, never, never, just once. So self-taught, and funny enough, this book is called Yoga Self-Taught, and it, I read it about one and a half years ago by Andrew Van Lisbeth, and before that, that was my, this was my first yoga book, actually, and I bought it secondhand, still, I've still got the copy, I fucking love it, it's one of my favourite books of all time on yoga, even though there's loads of great books on yoga. Anyway, and the reason I love it is because it teaches you the poses, but beyond that, it, it tells you, okay, it teaches you how to do the poses, it tells you the most proficient and valuable poses that you can do in the shortest amount of time so it gives you a routine that you can do right um so it's got like um starts off just swipe quickly it starts off with shoulder stand um a couple of minutes then it goes into um plow pose then it goes into um uh what's after plow pose uh i fucking can't remember now um okay house stand and shoulder stand plow pose um and then crow and then uh, cobra and all that stuff so it's got it's got its own routine right but Anyway, it happens at the same point every time I do it. I mean this every time I do my yoga. After I've done the shoulder stand for six, seven minutes, I'll go into the house stand, a plow pose. The plow pose is the one. Just describe it to you, because this might be useful information for you if you want to try it yourself. I'm pretty sure for most guys this is going to happen. So I did the shoulder stand for seven minutes, which is probably priming the, the ejaculation, probably getting it ready. But I think it's not even that. I think what's doing it is the fucking halasana, which is the second yoga pose I do, which is the plow pose. So you put your legs over the top, back head and um you hold so i hold that three minutes and then i go into a, a i go into a deeper version of halasana plow pose which this book taught me how to do right 
Yeah, Brian, mate, you'll love this. Um, yeah, this book told me how to go into deeper um, House Santa Pro. It's got it's got beginners, intermediates, and advanced for all of them. So so you don't just do ordinary House Santa. You do the basic House Santa, which this book will teach you how to do. Then it got, tells you to go into a deeper one where you put your knees behind your head to your you put your knees to your head, and it's it's a bit harder if you especially if you're fat. If you're fat, you're gonna. You, oh, by the way, if you're fat, you will struggle to do this. I'm pretty sure, but it's worth trying if you're fat anyway. So I'm not gonna. I'm not judging people, so you know, do what you can. But anyway, you do the house sign a three minutes hold, a basic pose. Then you do the deeper version, which is recommended in this book, and you put your knees. And it's it's it requires a more compression of the stomach, and obviously when you're doing house sana, and I do it naked too, the balls are going to go up to the upside down. So right, the balls are your balls are you literally about when you do the deep the deeper version where your knees touch your your knees touch your ears. Your balls are like a couple of inches away from your fucking face. It's the closest you're ever going to get to sucking your own bollocks. <laughs> this is my joke because I'm doing it. It's fucking. It's funny though. And um, yeah, I do that. So three minutes normal. Three minutes the deep version, as recommended in this book. By the way, guys, I've talked about this book before. Fucking buy it, man. It's one of the best yoga books you'll ever read in your life. It's got all the reasons why the benefits, like really geeky benefits of fucking yoga and how to do it and all that shit. Anyway, you go into the deeper pose. You hold for three minutes, and then I'll do an even deeper one where I put my hands around, which also recommended in this book for a minute. So I'll, I'll go. I'll basically spend seven minutes, um, doing about seven, six, seven, six, seven minutes on the house sana pose, and towards the end of the holding the six, seven minute house sana pose, that's when it starts. That's when that what I know now is the ejaculation starts happening. Something starts building in my building in my testicles, and what I do is after the seven minutes, I'll lie down and I'll experience bliss, and that experience. It, I've, I've had it. I can't believe, guys. Sorry, I can't believe how stupid I am. You know, I can't believe how stupid I am. I've always enjoyed the sensation. I just didn't know what it was. And today I was like, this feels like fucking better than ejaculation, man. And then I focused in on it. And when I focused in on it, it made it, it amplified it even more. And then I woke up and I was like, fuck yeah, you inside and fucking, I'm doing it, man. I'm fucking ejaculating. How awesome is that? So what I did was I, I watched it ejaculate and. After the pose, it builds a little bit, then I lie down, and then um, it lasts about mm, a minute, two minutes, and it's a slow build up and build up. And it, how I know it's ejaculation is it hits the brain. So my brain is going fucking crazy. You know, like when you ejaculate, um, as a guy, you'll know this the feeling is the feeling of, of the ejaculation, which is pleasurable, happens in the brain center. Well, the ejaculation is the same, it happens in the brain center. So my brain goes like into bliss and orgasm. So I'm having an orgasm but internally. And this is all caused, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a combination of I'm kind of a healthy person, I do semen retention, I do a lot, one meal a day, and all kinds of urine therapy, I do a lot of things, but what's doing it primarily, and I'm not viscerally fat too, I think that helps, but um, what's primarily doing it is that yoga pose, that plow pose. I, I'm, I hope this is true, this is my bias, and I hope, I, I wish other guys would try it too. I want to know, I want someone to test this out for me, I want someone to hit me back on message and say, okay, I bought this book for a start, even if you don't buy this book, you went on YouTube and looked at how to do plow pose on YouTube, did it for three minutes, then looked up how to do the deeper plow pose for three minutes, and go do the three minutes, the basic plow pose, naked preferably, don't have to be naked, though. and then do the deeper one, which go on YouTube and look at that, and hold six minutes and let me know, and do it on an intermittent fasting when you have not eaten for like at least a couple of hours, preferably like the next day would be fucking cool, 16, 17 hours. And you'll experience, I've, no, I'm not, I've eaten like seven hours ago, so it just happens, man, this ejaculation, it feels fucking crazy, and I can't believe I've been that fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed, almost, that I've been having it every day, when I do yoga, only with the yoga. So, I, I, I've got to do a lot of research now, and I, this is, I'm talking of something that you guys know more than me. I am humbled in this area of knowledge, this um, tantric sex and ejacula ejaculations, even though I'm doing it now. I've been doing it every day. Every time I do yoga, I've been doing it. I'm still a fucking novice at it. But I reckon that the yoga's doing it. Now I've got to research whether... Um, yes, fish pose, Brian. Interesting you said fish pose. I do the fit... That's recommended in the book. I do that after. Um, yeah, it does something too. But I think it's the plow pose. Look into fish, though. That's an interesting one. Funny you say that. I, I will talk more on this. I'm, I'm still going to try and mess about with... I'm, I know it's the plow that's doing it. I know yoga's doing it. So I'm going to figure out how to do ejaculations without yoga um because now i'm obsessed now i know what i'm i've been doing them all this time just from one yoga pose and it feels fucking great um i also want to see if um when i 
do miss my yoga is that when I have my wet dreams. In other words, can I have an ejaculation? If I do my yoga every day and have my ejaculation, can I still have a wet dream? Um, that might take away the wet dreams, hoping is a theory. So now I'm going to later sumo retention run breaks from a wet dream, which is going to happen. I definitely won't manually do it. It's going to it's going to be broken from a wet dream. I want to know on that I'll record on that day whether I did my yoga. I try and do, I do my yoga at home pretty much every day. But if I miss the yoga, that'd be interesting. If I no, it'd be interesting if I have a wet dream when I still did the ejaculation. That wouldn't make sense to me, but I might be wrong. I, I'm complete novice to this area, but it's fucking fascinating. And let me let me re-emphasize for guys. Oh, it feels fucking fantastic. And I think it felt extra fucking special fantastic today because I was focused on it. Hear this. When you focus on something and be present with something, it amplifies the already awesome feeling. Right? Think about what I just said. Um, so you're doing the age urine massaging and it's going to heal you or for urine therapy or eating fruits. But then you think about what you're doing. Yeah. And the benefits and it just amplifies and you're present with the feeling. So when you went up today, I was present with, that's why I figured out it was an ejaculation. I was present with that feeling. I was wondering, what the fuck is this feeling? I always have it every day. I always have this feeling and it feels good. What is it? And then it, and as I was, as I was feeling it deeply, I was amplifying the ejaculation. And then, I, and then as I was amplifying the ejaculation, I realized that this is an orgasm. This is it because it feels like an orgasm, but better. And literally, I was losing myself. Just the same as ejaculation. I'd say it's better than ejaculation. That's my opinion. Um, yeah, way better. <laughs> it's fucking fun. It's fun. Your good brain's like, oh shit, man. Fucking hard. how crazy is that? Yoga can do it. I reckon Tai Chi can do it. I reckon Qigong can do it. I reckon Fort can do it. Um, I'm not an expert in proficient to say I'm going to spend all my time on Fort and do it. But if yoga can do it, if one pose from yoga can do it, then. What the fuck? Seven minutes of fucking Hausana with a deep version of Hausana Blau pose. Fucking hell, man. That's crazy shit. <laughs> fucking crazy. Anyway, that's all I'm saying. Like, firstly, um, you'll be surprised um, how naive myself, how naive we can all be. We can miss the obvious, man. It was right in front of my face. You know what? I liken this to. I, I liken this to a bit like aged urine. Sometimes people will, will drink aged urine or do aged urine protocols and they'll say it's not working. But they'll stick with it because they, you know, they've heard it works. For a, I know people personally that told me that they, they, they've done aged urine or fresh urine and stuck with, and didn't feel a difference. They stuck with the protocol for a couple of months and a year or whatever, and then all of a sudden it dawned on them it worked. Well, as, as part of me wants to think, oh, that's very stupid of you. But now I can't say that because I'm learning from myself that I've missed the obvious. I missed the obvious, man. So I get it. I understand this when people criticise. Now we know, well now I know, how many people criticise um, urine therapy and aged urine and say it doesn't work and they tried it. If you ever hear someone say that, urine therapy, I tried fresh urine, I tried aged urine, it didn't work for me. Well, all that is, is it's not them being stupid, it's them being human. Just as I have been missing the fact that I've been ejaculating for the past couple of fucking months, how the fuck? And I, I, I've... I think I'm quite smart in my mind. I'm like, I'm really observant. I'm really observant. I always observe really well my stages and shit. No, I didn't, did I? So I'm forgiving. This is a lesson for me in becoming more forgiving of people that say a urine therapy doesn't work for them. Because you know what? Urine therapy is working for you whether you believe it or not. Hmm. Even if you put some um, nocebo, even if you put nocebo, which is you don't want it to work, it was still the, the power of urine therapy will work. So understand that on urine therapy too. That's good information. People, just because someone tells you, an expert or whatever says, oh, I tried it a couple months, doesn't work. Oh, well, you're just a human being that's missed the obvious. Just as I'm a human being and I missed the obvious about the ejaculations. How crazy is that? Wonder, I can't see that link. I'm sure it's very interesting. I'll get off here. And um, I will tag Ian Sargent too for giving me just one random comment. And then all of a sudden it woke me up. Yeah. <laughs> one thing woke me up and think, oh, now I've connected the dots. Now, now I know what I'm doing. Now I can practice it more. Now I can. Now I've started to shift into another area of mastery, ejaculation mastery.